In other news, South Korean President Moon Jae-in is on his way to Europe for the G20 summit in Rome and the UN Climate Change Conference in Glasgow. His trip also includes a stop at the Vatican, where he will meet with Pope Francis to discuss the Korean Peninsula peace process, with hopes of swiftly resuming dialogue with North Korea. Our senior Blue House correspondent Kim min reports. President Moon Jae-in is en route to Rome, the first stop on his nine-day tour of Europe. During his three-day stay in the Italian capital, the president will meet Pope Francis at the Vatican to talk about ways to boost peace on the Korean Peninsula. This will be Moon's second meeting with the Pope. His first was in October 2018. Likely on the table for discussion will be a potential visit to North Korea by the Pope, who has expressed willingness to go if there is an official invitation from the regime. Attention will be on whether the meeting will also be able to reignite the stalled peace process. President Moon will then attend the G20 summit over the weekend. It's the first time that the multilateral event will be held in person since the start of the pandemic. On the agenda are climate change, COVID-19 and post-pandemic global recovery. On the sidelines, Moon is also expected to meet with U.S. President Joe Biden, although the timing and format has not been decided. From November 1st to 2nd, President Moon will be in Glasgow for the UN Climate Change Conference. There, Moon will give a keynote speech in which he is expected to unveil South Korea's new carbon emissions reduction target. Attention is on whether he will meet with Japan's new Prime Minister Fumio Kishida, who has expressed his intent to attend the COP26 summit. The final leg of Moon's tour will take him to Hungary for a three-day state visit. Moon will first pay his respects at a memorial in Budapest to remember the 25 South Koreans who died in a boat accident on the Danube River in 2019. On November 3rd, Moon will have separate talks with the Hungarian president and prime minister, followed by a business forum with members of the so-called Visegrad Four countries, which also includes Slovakia, the Czech Republic and Poland. The next day, the president will attend the South Korea Visegrad summit to discuss ways to expand cooperation with the second largest market in Europe. The Blue House expects a series of multilateral diplomatic events to serve as an opportunity to drum up support for the Korean Peninsula peace process and highlight South Korea's raised global status and its role in bridging advanced and developing nations in the post-pandemic era. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.